No, it's me Teating here with the VFD, and uh, today we're doing a little update on the three gallon tank. Today, or right now, in front of you, you are seeing a cleaner shrimp that I bought for about $30 at my LFS, and please excuse the background noise. It is Christmas, and there's a lot of commotion going on, but um, this guy is getting poured into a little popcorn bowl, and we're getting him on the drip. A lot of changes are made to this three gallon. What it looks like now will not be what it looks like at the end of the video. So, I've got that nice drip system going, and here he is now. I skipped the uh, netting and adding process because it's boring. He's a bit, he's not really active now, he's getting used to the tank, but he does get active uh, in, a, in about a day or so. So this is the tank now. Keep this image in your head. I also added a power head, as you can see in the top left corner. Uh, I took it out of an old filter because I had some pretty ambiguous plants with this 3 gallon, and it will be requiring large flow. And you can also see some green star polyps, or GSP, I added. This guy grows fast. And uh, that's the power head. But the GSP, he grows, like, it, surprisingly fast. You see him? You saw him? You could see the frag plug. And uh, the next day, or not the next day, the next week, you couldn't see the frag plug. But here, we have a little unboxing going on. Mini unboxing. I got a new light for this tank. On Amazon, for about, um... Fifteen twenty dollars. Shout out to C coli. I repeat that is C dot C O L I C coli. Thank you for donating C coli. Your donation is heavily appreciated. And if you're interesting, if you're interested in donating, please contact me in person. But if you don't know me in person, then suck a lemon. Well, actually, just kidding. Don't suck a lemon. They taste bad. But um, that's an expression because you're not going to be able to donate to me. But uh, what we get, Lihu? What we get in the box is the light itself the cord yeah that yeah that's the light um, it does come in wrapping and there's a little film on the light itself and we also have that bracket right there that goes on the tank and as you see I'm gonna try and peel off the plastic covering the lights it's a painful process but it does work again thank you so much to C. coli for his generous donations he is heavily appreciated in the VFD because you know I'm only 13 years old and I'm running like reef tanks, if you've been in the hobby, you know that reefing is expensive. But here we have the um, the light, and this is really low resolution. I'm so sorry about that. It's low resolution because there's a lot happening. The camera has trouble picking up the blue lights, and I also added a hang on the back filter there, as you can see, for extra flow, and so I could add phosphate remover and some um, carbon as well as some biomedia. And as you can see here, the green star polyps bring out their fluorescence under blue lights. And then there's the shrimp. He, he got real active. He likes to stay under that rock when the camera's around, but he goes all over, and he does eat. I also added some coral. You can see that, yes, yes it is. That is Acropora. He's a bit white at the bottom. I bought him like that. Uh, he's not bleaching, he hasn't changed. He's actually filling in that color. And I also have some zoanthids there that I fragged from the mother colony. In my other, in, my, in the eight gallon tank. It's now an eight gallon. It's not a 5.5 because of the sump, but uh, it's a long story that I need to get you guys updated on. But that is basically it of the update. I really hope you enjoyed, and um, I'll see you next time with the next update.